Welcome back to Feminine Diaries. Today I will be talking about mistakes I have made so far as a small YouTuber. The first challenge I had was getting non-copyright music for my videos. You will come to YouTube. Some people have a channel they say is dedicated to non-copyright movies and uh, music. After downloading these videos confidently, feeling like a badass, I just found this really cool music. By the time you upload your video, you will just see copyright claim. The very first mistake I did one time was to delete that video. Please save yourself the stress. You can actually edit and change your audio from YouTube Studio Editor. It's just that you'll be stuck. You'll be stuck with a boring music, probably. Also, do not write off those music in YouTube studios. Like once in a while, you can see really, really nice songs there. So second mistake I made, I have made, that I have stopped making, is to be hard on myself, trying to make my videos look as professional as possible. By the time you bring out this camera, and start to film. Everything in your head will just be flying around. And if you do not know, especially when you're a new YouTuber, you will be so hard on yourself, feeling like, why am I not getting this? I thought I was very smart. Calm down. Just as you get better with editing, you edit away all the nonsense. Just keep it rolling. When you make mistakes, don't touch it. Just continue, let her edit it out. And then I used to press and press and pause and press. Then when I want to edit, I'll have tiny, tiny clips everywhere. Oh my God, don't do that. Just make the video at once. If you make a mistake, let it keep rolling. Then you just comport yourself and continue. Then later you edit. It makes everything so much easier. The third mistake I make, see anything that has to do with sub for sub. Every time people will be like, don't do sub for sub, don't buy this part for your channel. Trust me as a new YouTuber. <laughs> like what I say, I will do sub for sub. The small ones I will get there. I will get some few new people. To start, don't even go begging your family and friends to subscribe to your channel, especially when you know they will not watch your videos. You upload your videos for like one week and you have eight views. And all those views is you that is viewing yourself. I did sub for sub for a while. Then I didn't even know how serious of an offense it is. When I was doing I was like sub for sub, if I got 200, I was so happy. Like some days I will be on the internet like this, and because normally I will not get, I will not get subscribers. Before I convince somebody to subscribe, like the talk is too much, the beg is too much. When I now discovered sub for sub, in the day I'll have like 10 subs. Then when I wake up, there will now be like five. <laughs> People will just unsubscribe, it's a waste of time. Like, I don't know if I can just confidently tell somebody, don't ever do sub for sub. If you go and be doing sub for sub with, you're not supposed to do sub for sub. But if you go ask somebody that has a gaming channel, all these guys that have a gaming channel, to subscribe to your channel even if they forget to unsubscribe the first day they will see makeup notification they are unsubscribing and find a way of looking for people that are genuinely interested in what you do and then you people can support yourself there is no the third mistake i have made is to go copy the title and the tags and the description and everything of a video that is doing well <laughs> Mumu. Mumu, mumu, do not mumu yourself. It doesn't work that way. Copy somebody's title tag and just believe that you're going to start that ranking close to that video because you copied everything. You're wasting your precious energy. Please do not waste your time doing that and it doesn't work. You know when they keep saying, like, pay attention to your thumbnail, I'll be like, when you start, no matter how good you think you are, eh? Those first very few videos, you think this your thumbnail is badass because it looks like the picture you normally take. When I got to see how much thumbnail can affect your video, I was shocked. Human beings are so superficial. Do not joke with it. If you want people to watch your video, superficial their eyes, oh, because <laughs> it's crazy. I had a video that was like less than maybe 60 views in two months or so 
immediately I changed that thumbnail. Not immediately, like after a week. I don't understand. I was like, so because I didn't put fine fine picture here, you could refuse to watch this video that has so many nice contents. That's life for you. Mm. Another mistake is deleting videos. I did this a lot. Respect to my videos that are resting in peace. Do not delete your videos. You are going to lose the watch hours. You are going to lose the views that are attached to that video. What I do now, I edit it, take off what I do not want to be seen on it, change the thumbnail, change the title, make it as uninteresting as possible and leave it there. I hope that's not a sin though. I hope that's not a crime on YouTube. But if you delete your video, you're deleting the hours, you're deleting the views, you're deleting every good thing that comes with it. So just have in mind, no matter how that part of that video makes you cringe, if you can edit it and take out that part that annoys you, do so. If you cannot, leave it and keep moving. The next mistake I made was even, even thinking that I should even make a fine intro. Which stupid intro? Eh? People will just jump the intro and leave your video. They will not even fast forward to it like after the, they will leave. <laughs> Somebody is looking for where they are going to see how to do something. You now carry beautiful, beautiful intro and started. Hey. So except except you have an like a personality that is crazily interesting. And I don't know what you have to have for someone that came looking for something on YouTube to be distracted from what they came to look for and admire your beautiful intro. <laughs> if you can't, eh? throw the intro away. <laughs> the next mistake I have made is ignoring playlists. I was surprised when one of my playlists, like my source of view was showing like playlists with a high percentage. I was like, are you serious? So the name of my playlist comes up in search to not just the video. And then I went crazy. And I have so many playlists on my channel. And you should too, because those playlists will come up in search with videos sometimes. So you should. I wasn't doing that before. I am doing it now. Another mistake I have made as a small YouTuber is not then was not looking into my camera lens. It feels weird. Oh God, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. My proco doctor said we shouldn't be doing this. But oh God, is it sweet? The mistake I made was not looking into my camera lens. Do you know how weird it feels if you know nothing about making videos to be staring into this tiny hole? To be staring into this tiny hole, you're expected to be staring into that blank space where you can be admiring yourself on the screen, looking at how fine you are. You're expected to stare into this tiny hole so that you can connect with people. Some people will watch my video and be like, what are you looking at? You're not even looking at me. You're just telling me, watch my video, watch my video. You're not even looking at the camera. I say, now, wow, now. <laughs> I am an expert. I can look at the camera from every angle. <laughs> well, don't worry about it. The more you film, the more you get used to it. Now I can look into the heart of my camera and look into your eyes. I can see you. I can see you. Like, I see you. I see you. I... So don't beat yourself over it, but you need to look into the camera no matter how weird it feels. And another mistake I have noticed that causes a lot of difference is posting at any time you like. You cannot post your videos anytime you like. Oh. Okay, as a new, to, new YouTuber then, I didn't used to have, you know that section where you can see when your audience are online? That's beautiful. I'll put it somewhere here. Not all YouTubers have it. I think for a while you will not have it. But then... There is this other place under your video analytics where you can see when people are online. There is a very wrong time, like a very, very wrong time to upload your video. And it actually makes a lot of difference. So you need to look into it too because 
it's not spirits that watch your videos if you want people to watch it don't put it up when they are sleeping that brings us to the end of my video thank you for watching see you around don't forget to subscribe as i embark on this journey on youtube i like to tell people things about whatever is interesting me so i'm going to force it down your throat i'll tell you my challenges i'll tell you things i like i'll tell you what i think i did wrong you shouldn't do so thank you so much for watching Mwah! bye